you have done those and you've gotten a chance to do it. What, what is your record in the one-on-ones? Usually when yours? Uh, yeah. Usually when my one-on-ones. Um, Jawan, so in terms of me, he, he kind of take me through a kind of an off week is like for you guys. I know that Kirby was saying it's kind of a kind of a work week type deal for you guys. So how do you attack it differently? What do you mean? Uh, it's all the same. You know, we, like Coach Kirby said, it's a work week. And I'm like, you're just gonna keep working on things fundamentally and just get better every day. And then, I mean, in terms of the inside linebackers and kind of, kind of, I mean, you've got a trashing all face with the injuries and stuff. I mean, how important is this bye week to kind of help get the younger guys ready? Also, help those guys that help the younger guys. It just, you know, like, like I said, you know, everybody working on fundamentals right now, so. That would definitely get it to y'all guys better. Kirby said he's not really thinking about Florida until next, until maybe Thursday. Is that tough to really kind of, you know, the elephant in the room, you know what's coming up? Uh, you know, right now we just focus on us. Right now we just focus on us, how we can get better fundamentally and uh, stay focused. Have you watched that, any of them on offense to kind of see you kind of just really mix and match a quarterback? And uh, like I said, we're just trying to focus on us right now. And, uh, Okay. Do you want to help can you personally get better, I think? Uh, I think by uh, probably keying the right thing sometimes uh, and uh, hand placing it. <laughs> What's it feel like, uh, you know, I guess in the team meeting room, I mean, you guys, it, it is what it is. You guys are three in the country. You're undefeated now. Does it you feel like it's just the, the stakes keep, keep getting higher and higher and turned on more, the intensity get higher, or does it? Or do you fight that, you know, and just keep everything? Everything's the same. You don't pay any attention to all that stuff. Yeah, like we try to pay no attention to that stuff. We, we try to keep everything the same. You know, we just focus on us. That's all we do is focus, focus on us. You know, I asked uh, Julian Rothfuster about you the other week, and he said that you have kind of have a reputation on the team of being a hard hitter. Is that a reputation you've had your entire football career? Yeah, my entire football career. And how would you pick that up, I guess, like, other than hitting uh, people hard? <laughs> Uh, ever, since I, uh, ever since I started playing the game, I just love to hit. And like, every time I just hit somebody, I just, I don't know, just, <laughs> it's just a feeling I, I get. Like, it's like, like a general, a general rush. I get every time for here. So. Is there a genesis for that? Do you remember being a little kid in rec league or whatever and, and playing oh, yeah. football for the first time and liking that part? Yeah, oh, yes. I've been playing football since I was four, so. Is that right? Yeah. <coughs> you brothers, uh, uh, anybody like that? that uh, uh, yes, I had a brother play at University of Maryland a couple of years ago. You guys waited in uh, 20, I think 2012. Okay. So you had an older brother. Yeah, older brother, Clarence Murphy. Yeah. Did he rough you up a little bit uh, when you were little? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is, is there a particular hit in your playing history that you know kind of stands out in your mind as the best hit that you've ever laid? Uh, well, the Vanderbilt. That's, that's my best play. I say the Vanderbilt. The uh, tackle for loss. That's my best play. Yes. yes that's my best play in college. In my college career. What about going back to high school? Going back to high school. Uh, I don't remember. I, I, I don't hear so many people, man. <laughs> I don't remember. You have to be careful now. I mean, there's so much uh, now. There's so much emphasis on targeting and in, in your own protection and concussion. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, is that something you have to be aware of, or you, that goes out the window once it once a whistle's blown? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes in uh, practice I get a bit head heavy, and you know, Coach Smart he get on me about that. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. I, I, I try to keep my head up at all times. The way we're viewing things right now is one day at a time. Thank you, Joy. Do you have a favorite memory thus far playing at the University of Georgia? I mean, like, how do you know about On the field, off the field? Uh, my favorite memory, like I just told him, uh, was uh, the Vanderbilt game. I had a tackle for loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite memory. I mean, he's trusting As of right now. Yeah, Dwan, what have you. Um, What's it like when when Javon Williams makes those like jump catch 50 50 balls? What's that like as a teammate? Watch that guy just leap up and snap, snatch it out of the air. Well, it's definitely exciting. Like, like you see him do it all day in practice. Like you see him do it in the game. Like it's, it's really nothing new. It's just like in the game, it's just more exciting. Is that something y'all come to expect out of him? Oh yeah, he's a bit physical receiver, so like, we expect him to get up and get the balls.
I mean, oh, literally, I see scores and things. When, when you're in the situation you were in, say two weeks ago, when you're kind of waiting for your turn, you know, waiting for your number to be called, you know, what are you thinking about the way you guys are playing defense and, and how well you guys have been playing defense? You know, like, like I said, when you're not on the field. Uh, say it again. Like when you're not on the field and you're kind of you know waiting for your number to be called, you're waiting for your opportunity. You know, kind of what's your role as a player when it comes to the defense and and you know during games and things like that? Are you are you just are you just waiting for your moment at that point, or, or you know you, are you kind of a cheerleader for those guys? How, how do you kind of take on that role? Uh, I just take on the role you know, by just being a team player, playing my role, and uh, when my number is called. I my name is Carl, I just got stuff up. What's it like being in that situation where you're probably chomping it a bit, can't wait to get on the field, but at the same time, you know, you know, you kind of have to be patient. Yeah, it's, it, it's just uh, like you say, you just got to be patient. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a team player. I just spend my room.